Hello ladies, it's May Larson here and I'm back for another quick tutorial and for this tutorial we're going to do a wall hanging using the baby album that um, <clears throat> the baby dress album and it's the last page as you guys know we always use the last page to be able to make something pretty with it um, for a wall hanging. So here it is and I'm going to go ahead and cut around it and I'm going to um, glue it to my chipboard piece. Now I also have the Shabby Chic hanger and we're going to use this for this piece so stay tuned. Hello ladies we are here and we're going to be doing this wall hanging and as you can see I've laid out everything that I want. This is a Hobby Lobby trim. This is um, used to be a Queen of Details. I still think she still has that one and this one is also a Hobby Lobby trim and I've gathered them all up. I use about a half a yard of each and I have this applique that I got from Sierra and this is an applique from Creating with Details and I've covered my entire base of my um, my dress here and I need to punch out um, the little hole because I need to make sure I can get my hanging mechanism through there. All right. Cut that out. All right. So <clears throat> this is the hangers that you get from uh, Wanna Scrap, and these are the ones that I've designed. And um, to get a really nice sturdy base, you're gonna have to use two um, hangers and glue them together. And that is my strongest recommendation. Now you can chalk paint this. This would be really cute if you chalk paint it, and I'll probably do that in one of my other videos where you take it and chalk paint it and um, and I'm trying to do this really fast so that I can kind of put them together and you could put some score tape too but I want to get these two sandwiched in so now I'm just gonna open it up you can probably put some score tape in there and not worry about doing what I just did. So score tape or any other type of adhesive, I just kind of played it this way and it worked. Okay, but if you do it that way, just know you have to run very, very fast. Okay, clean it up, clean all your glues, any other little side mechanism, make sure everything is adhered properly. I'm gonna split it up a little here. And I'm just doing it this way so that I get a really good um, coverage and it's very, very thick and sturdy. Okay, now I have cut out the piece of fabric and this is one that I picked up from um, Hobby Lobby. Yeah, and we're just going to do the typical, you know, go around here and there, get it all nice and neat in there. Sound like I'm talking to my kids. Nice and neat. Let's clean up nice and neat, right, Nani? Yeah. Clean up nice and neat. Mm -hmm. That what mommy always tell you? Yeah. All right. So that is all you have to do for this little hanger. It's really, really cute. Um, and you could use it to hang your little wall hanging. All right. Just going to do it this way. Um, there we go. And then you're going to take a small little gimp, you know, because we always clean our edges. Of course, you can leave it frayed. 
Um, you can take some chalk paint, just go around the edges if you want. Um, we'll see what my mood is. So apparently my camera decided it did not want to record, but this is what I have so far. I put down um, this applique and I have this here and then I have three layers of trim. This is a Hobby Lobby, this is a Creating with Details, and this is a Hobby Lobby. And I don't know why my camera does not want to record, but for some reason I have been recording, recording, and for, it just wants to stop. So now we're going to attempt. I have to keep looking at the screen and make sure it's recording because every time I looked I thought I was recording and I was talking to myself. My daughter comes up and she says, Mom, you're not recording. So I hope this goes through. Um, because it would be a mess if it doesn't. All right. So we're going to put this here as for my little stash of goodies. This way looks like a fullness, luscious dress of gloriness. There it goes again. Oh, no, no. It's recording. It's recording. Okay. I was about to have a massive heart attack. I'm like, oh my God, not again. Okay. So we have that. <clears throat> and I have this little headband. You guys know how I like these little headbands. I'm going to put a little headband on here. And then we have this applique that will go right in there like that, right? Before I put this headband, let's do something because I might not want the headband there. But let's go ahead and glue this applique down. Not even. Oh, there we go. Make sure I'm even. For some reason, I don't know if I'm just lopsided or what. Maybe sometimes I'm wondering what is wrong with my balance. This is not right. Looking up, make sure I'm recording. I would hate to get to the end of everything and realize it did not record again. Because, yeah, that happened with the hanger. I didn't realize I was not recording for the hanger and for uh, the bottom, the top, this piece down here. Is more what I need. Right, right, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. All right. <clears throat> that looks. So this is how it looks. Um, and I had this vintage collar that I purchased from an eBay seller and I was thinking about, okay, let's first put it here. This be so cute. Look at that. And I like that. So we're just going to go right around the 
edge of this collar, making sure we're centered. Anyways, my little one's sick, so I hope you guys can pray for her. So I've been really think, hoping it's not bronchitis or anything like that. But we're going to have to take her in, have that checked. Because she is not, she's been running a fever really bad. All right. So now we're going to wrap this baby to the back. And But we need to make sure we stay within there. because we need to put some lace through here so we can attach it to our little hanger. This is a shabby chic little we'll hanging. And I might just change out the little black so now I can't do black. So we're going to snip that off because we're not doing black. No way, ladies. No black. There we go. Bye-bye. So we're going to do a little bow. And that would be cute um, to do a cute little bow. Make sure that's all glued down, ladies. Cute. That is adorable. Okay, so we have um, our little collar put in. I'm going to poke a little tiny hole about to figure out where that hole is. So I can poke my hole through there because I need to be able to get my um, lace through. So I'm going to try to poke a hole as much as I can through here. So we can get that lace. So I'm going to go ahead and glue around there so it doesn't lift up. So we can get that taken care of. Okay. Oops, sorry. Get that really nice and sturdy there. Okay, we'll do the same thing in the back. Trying to make sure that I can still run all my my ribbon through there, so when I hang it, it is easy for me to hang.
Okay. All right, so we're going to do a bow, and we have all this goody stuff. I call it goody stuff because it's all the stuff I like, and it's basically a cotton trim, some of that uh, frilly stuff, seam binding, and some of the yarn fur stuff that's like an eyelash. And we're going to do a small little bow here for her there. And... I'm going to leave some because I might do a tassel, so we're going to definitely shrink this a little more. All right, that's good enough, I think. So let's try them. I'm going to use this here because I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. And let's grab that. And let's tie it off. All right, pull it up. You want to like craziness? You guys know that? So that's going to go there. I'm gonna put. Let's see, where's my? Let's cut this. There we Smack in the center there. Put that there. going on. Isn't that cute? So I was going to put a flower, but I think it'd be too much. See that? That's too much. So we're going to yank out these buttons because, you know, you can't have these black buttons there. I just don't like them. Not my cup of tea. Luckily, they come out really easily. Look at that. How easy that is. Okay. And we're going to go, we're going to go. I should have put this around it before I even put this in, but I didn't because the collar ended up there. So we're going to go here. With this one. Go on the other side. As well.
out. And then I can go back here. Let's clean this one up because you guys know how I am with edges. I don't like my edges to be sloppy. back. We have that in front. And we're going to move this out of the way. Um, we're going to take some seam binding. And we're going to evenly. Cut that in. to hang about so so it doesn't need that much we're going to go about half of this here I'll put a little bow there for sure. Do the same thing here. Sorry, ladies. Kind of technical difficulties here, so I got to bring it up closer to me so that I can see that it's working out right.
So we're going to make sure those are evened out and then you can tie it down. All right, isn't that stinking cute? That is so stinking cute. All right, so we're going to probably put the flower up there. So I'm going to trim this off. And I'll try this flower, and I have another little flower that I just pulled out, which is this one. And I bought this one a while back. So we can do that. Or we can go this way. Hmm. See you guys, that's why you guys have to be here. I like this one better. It looks more shabbier. Hmm. Put that right there. So there you have it, ladies. That is my little shabby chic hanger that I have a wall hanging with the hanger from Want to Scrap. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Until next time, ladies. Bye-bye.